Well, it's time for all good graduates to walk across the stage and get their diploma. So we'll be hearing a lot of this music for the next month or so. Pomp and Circumstance, the title comes from a line in Shakespeare's Othello, was written by composer Sir Edward Elgar in 1901. But it wasn't originally intended for graduations. The march was composed for the coronation of King Edward VII. In 1905, Elgar was given an honorary doctorate from Yale University, and the music was played in his honor at the end of the ceremony. After Yale used it, someone from Princeton University heard it and said, hey, we got to use this too. Then Columbia University used it, then the University of Chicago, and before you know it, it just became the thing that you had to graduate to. Since then, pomp and circumstance has become the standard graduation music throughout America. So did Sir Edward Elgar compose anything else? Well, yes he did over a hundred works for orchestra, chamber music, church music, and songs. He was a self-taught composer who lived in England from 1857 to 1934. Elgar is considered to be the first composer to take recording seriously. Starting in 1914, he conducted a series of recordings of his own works on gramophone. And once the microphone was invented, the recording process was refined and Elgar made new recordings of most of his major orchestral works. Yet he will be best known for his March number one, played annually at almost every high school and college graduation in America. And speaking of graduations, here's to the class of 2014. From wherever you are graduating from, congratulations. From all of us at Transit TV. And from me, Bill Berry, your Transit TV music man.